So the first uh, uh, conclusion that I would draw about what uh, 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 an advanced, uh, uh, what an engaged anthropology might be, is that uh, the only way to participate in this revolution to discover what kind of anthropology you want to pursue within it is by inserting yourself experimentally into uh, 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 a fast-changing world. I believe that, that we are living in times which are ripe for a romantic vision of the world. I mean, the difference... Romanticism is the idea that the world is changing. It's changing so fast it doesn't make any sense to learn the rules about what's going on in the world in order to adapt to them. The only thing that counts is what's between your ears. So what you do is you try and improve the quality of what's between your ears so that you can react uh, sensitively and practically to the unfolding events that you're inserted into. So the important thing, therefore, is not to have some, some plan of where you want to go with it all, but to insert yourselves experimentally and practically into uh, this uh, process. Secondly, I think that the model of what we do as anthropologists is going to change quite dramatically in the coming decades. I think that the emphasis on research is basically a Cold War and temporary focus. I mean, before the Second World War, university teachers were that. They just taught people, bums on seats, got people like you to sit through a lecture. That's what, you know, university teachers did. But after the war, some people, uh, helping food supplies or developing armaments or whatever, got large chunks of money to develop research focused on these objects. This, uh, uh, this research money was then emulated by the social sciences, who actually, of course, did not produce knowledge that anybody wanted, but they still thought that uh, it would be cool to emulate the sciences who did get the money by saying what matters is research and publication and so on. But this model of, of giving priority to research and publication is already crumbling. The universities will not be able to sustain this novel. This, 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 and, 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 and what, what I believe, you know, uh, uh, uni higher education will revert to is that it will become a form of education. And I think that anthropology is very well suited for the reasons that I have tried to lay out to you today because of its engagement with humanity's largest social project, because of its ability to speak to our place in the world of everyone and everything. The anthropology is and should be considered, considered to be a branch of education more than a specialized branch of research and publication. And uh, I think that if that were so, it might well be that anthropology would escape from its uh, academic straitjacket. I mean, if anthropology is what do we need to know about uh, humanity as a whole that will help us make a better world, there are many people who can contribute to that pro 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 uh, process. Um, economists, sociologists, political scientists, philosophers, literary scholars, and so forth. So, I mean, I think that anthropology could well evolve into uh, uh, something which is both still uh, a narrow academic discipline, building on its uh, established historical trajectory, and a much more diffuse uh, a body of intellectual inquiry that people of many disciplines may wish to participate in. I mean, there is a model for this, which is that um, after the Second World War, the idea of development, the idea that we want to improve the economies of the world societies as a whole to reduce the gap between the rich and poor, that notion of development uh, brought people from many disciplines together. So too did feminism, Marxism, and other synthetic definitions of the problem. So I, I'm pushing, if you like, for an anthropology which is definitely engaged. It's engaged in the urgent uh, need for us to construct a better and more democratic world society. It's a process that can be uh, uh, the, uh, a focus of uh, 
of, of, of the academic discipline as we know it, or part of it, but ought to be considered to be a much broader project. And it's for that reason that I actually believe that, that anthropology's future uh, lies, uh, uh, it, it will be more significant than its past. So, thank you very much, Keith. That was a fantastic uh, uh, postmodern manifesto. And, um, and well, it's I nice to be pre modern. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I want to also to thank very, very much Emma James and, and Elena for their fantastic help on this course. Uh,